Usually, we come across pictures of loved up pictures and fail to realize there's more to them than just being heartbreakingly adorable. Animals like dogs, lions, and elephants are known to form strong social relationships in the wild. In the absence of their social groups, it would make sense that these animals seek other animal friends outside of their species. At the same time, other lonely animals may form a parent-child relationship with animals that have helped raise them or spent quality time with them, especially ones that have lost their parents. Whatever might have led to these bizarre relationships could only point to the fact that wild beasts may be far more emotionally complex than many of us believe. Today, we've gathered 15 of the most compassionate and somewhat awkward relationships that prove that wild animals are capable of feeling and exhibiting love some of which are similar to those depicted in animations and cartoons. Welcome to another episode of Forever Green. And if you want to see a friendship so sweet and heartwarming, then stick around for number one, because it will melt your heart and leave you with a tear or two. 15. Bubbles and Bella The tale of Bubbles, the African elephant, and Bella, the black Labrador, is a peculiar one that shows true friendship is no respecter of size or species. Bubble is an elephant that lives in South Carolina, USA, in the Myrtle Beach Safari. She was saved in 1983 from her family's slaughter by poachers, who were in search of ivory. While Bella, on the other hand, is a black Labrador that was left behind by her owner, a contractor who was hired to build a pool at the Wildlife Reserve in 2007. The pair have since then become great friends and look so adorable together. They both love to jump and play in the water, with Bubbles picking up the ball with her trunk and throwing it for Bella to fetch and bring back to her. 14. Milo the Dog and Bone Digger the Lion Here's another rare but true friendship struck up between a 500-pound lion named Bone Digger and his unlikely Dachshund pal, Milo, who have been inseparable since the lion was a cub. Bone Digger the Lion has a metabolic bone disease that has left him partially disabled and never leaves the side of his miniature sausage dog friend and his mates, Bullet and Angel. The duo has been inseparable over the past seven years at GW Exotic Animal Park in Winewood, Oklahoma. They are being reared by a double amputee zookeeper, John Reinke, who lost his legs following a bungee jump accident. When Milo and his buddies, Bullet and Angel, sensed that the lion was disabled, they always sought to protect and comfort him. They all cuddle, feast on raw meat, and play in the grounds together. The zookeeper described the bond between the 11-pound wiener and the 500-pound lion is the only of its kind in the world. Milo can also be seen imitating the lion when he tries puffing to communicate with other lions in the park. The pair also show great affection towards their zookeeper. They play and run towards him, excitedly, whenever they see him after a long time. 13. Tinny the Dog and Sniffer the Wild Fox Whether you've seen Disney's beloved The Fox and the Hound movie or not, You'd love the story of Tinny the dog and Sniffer the wild fox, two unimaginable friends from two different worlds. Tinny is a dog that lives with its owner and photographer, Torgi Bergi, in the forest of Norway. On one of their walks in the woods, they met a wild fox that they later named Sniffer. The pair eventually became unlikely animal friends despite the thousands of years of breeding and social circumstances that stood between them. Torgi Berge now follows the cute buddies around as they romp and play through the woods. Fortunately, he brings his camera along to capture the shenanigans of these animal friends for the world to behold. The shenanigans of these two adorable animals remind us that wild animal, which a lot of us disrespect or fear, can also be similar to the domesticated animals we love than we thought. The experience has changed Bergi's perspective on Norway's fox fur trade. He is now seeking to help ban the hunting of fox for their fur in Norway. He hopes to achieve this partly by publishing a photo book about the pair's adventure titled The Fox and the Dog, together with writer Barrett Helberg. 12. Bee the Giraffe and Wilma the Ostrich Bee and Wilma have become great as a result of their time together at Bush Gardens in the United States. They both live in a huge 65-acre enclosure, so their friendship is enforced. They spend time together willingly. According to the zookeepers, these two animals can't seem to get enough of each other. Could they have bonded over their long necks? Their gorgeous gates. Whatever it might be, something magical must have brought Bee the Giraffe and Wilma the Ostrich together. 
The Bush Gardens is a 65-acre Serengeti plain filled with zebras, rhinos, giraffes, African elephants, and birds. Although most animals tend to be around their species, Bee and Wilma, both born and raised in the park, have sought after each other more. Jason Green explained that the animals in the park have plenty of opportunities to interact with one another. He further explained that giraffes and ostriches, by nature, are very curious animals. They don't shy away from checking each other out. 11. Torque the Dog and Shrek the Owl A six-month-old dog named Torque adopted a tiny baby owl called Shrek when she was taken from her mother for her safety just after three days of her birth. It was feared that Shrek's mother would eat her first clutch if she became stressed or threatened by predators. As a result, adoptive dad Torque is now watching over the rare bed at the home of head falconer John Picton. They can be seen spending their evenings together watching EastEnders and Coronation Street. Shrek is free to roam the house as she strengthens her legs and sometimes snuggles up to Torque on the sofa. They often sit outdoors of the Ringwood Raptor and Reptile Center in Hampshire's New Forest, with Torque guarding his little feathered friend. The pair began their friendship when the then three-inch high Shrek was fed her meal of marsh rats and quail in the same room with Torque. The duo was held close so Torque could smell her. John believes that Shrek's interaction with dogs and humans at an early age is the ideal training she needs to be a display owl at feedies and open days. John also stated that Torque seems to have adopted Shrek as his daughter and sometimes can be very protective. 10. The Deer and the Rabbit This is a friendship made straight out of Disney's classic Bambi. The pair were spotted by Tanja Ascani, a photographer and animal scientist who spotted the pair while taking pictures in the wild. The circumstances surrounding their apparent friendship are unknown, but for sure, there's more than meets the eye about these animals than the loved up pictures taken by Scani. 9. Cat and the Fox In Von Turkey A local would never believe that a fox and a cat he saw while eating some leftover fish would become the best of friends. The duo was first spotted in 2011 at Lake Vaughn. Since then, it's been reported by onlooking fishermen that the pair are inseparable and have grown their budding relationship. The fishermen have continued to feed the pair, watching them play together and fool around. 8. Manny the Wild Boar Piglet and Candy the Dog Manny could be considered the luckiest wild boar on earth. He was found starving in rural and Greek Haas in Germany by the Dahlhaus family. His mother apparently abandoned the weeks old piglet and he had certainly started life on the wrong foot. Fortunately, the Dahlhaus family adopted him, bottle fed him and introduced him to an unlikely friend, Candy, the family's Jack Russell Terrier. The two were reported to play daily together. They played hide and seek, enjoyed themselves in the bushes and just have a lot of fun together. The little piggy was also said to be figuring out how to communicate with Candy by learning how to bark. Last we heard, Manny is getting along fine with his friend Candy and will either stay with his newfound family or be relocated to a wildlife park. 7. Fred the Labrador and Dennis the Duckling When Dennis the Duckling lost his mother to a fox that mauled her, things looked grim and hopeless for the young chap. Luckily, Fred a Labrador and his owner Jeremy were on hand to find and rescue him. Amazingly, the Labrador took an instant liking to the duckling and began to clean the muddy duck with its tongue. The pair now sleep together, play together, and even go swimming in the local pond. Jeremy, who owns Mount Fishet Castle, Essex, a place where the pair live, described Fred as a modern-day stay-at-home dad to the duckling. Dennis snuggles up to Fred at night. He will climb on top of him, and they even go swimming together. But Fred shows a little less grace in the water, Jeremy said. Fred's loving nature can be attributed to the fact that he grew up in a loving environment and he always fathers any orphan. He once also took over looking after Lupin, a fallow deer, when she was tiny. Jeremy and his family have owned the Mount Fitchett Castle for over 40 years, a restored Norman site that houses hundreds of rescued animals. Jeremy jokingly said that because of the amount of adoration Fred shows to Dennis, he wouldn't be surprised if the duck starts barking and chasing cats. Which friendships has been the most adorable for you so far? Go ahead and leave us your answer in the comments below. We'll wait. 6. Saria the Orangutan and Roscoe the Blue Tick Hound Roscoe, a blue tick dog, and Saria the Orangutan 
has formed an unimaginable friendship they crossed path at a reserve for endangered animals. They met when Roscoe followed a staff member from the Institute of Greatly Endangered and Rare Species, Tigers, as they walked home in Myrtle Beach. Saria immediately spotted him and casually walked up to make friends with the dog. Dr. Bagavan Antel, the reserve's founder, explained that Roscoe was a thin and lost dog brought into the reserve to be fed and cared for, hoping that someday someone would come out to claim the dog. But as soon as they walked through the gates, Roscoe and Saria made contact and started playing. Dr. Bagavan also explained that dogs are usually scared of primates, but they took each other straight away. They now swim together, play together, and Saria sometimes takes Roscoe for a walk. The friends have released a picture book capturing their unconventional friendship. Young fans besieged them as they held their signing for the new release at a bookstore in Georgetown, South Carolina. 5. Kate the Great Dane and Pippin the Deer This is a friendship that began when Isabel Springett found a newborn fawn in the woods behind her house in Courtenay, B.C. She initially left the fawn where she found it, hoping the mother deer would return. However, when she heard cries of the young fawn the next day, she took the tiny fawn and nestled it on the bed of her Great Dane's bed, Kate, who never had puppies of her own. But Kate's maternal instincts came to the forefront when she met the later named Pippin. She would patiently allow Pippin to suckle, despite not having anything to suckle on. As Pippin grew older, she would spend the nights in the woods only to return to Kate. Their relationship grew, and the duo went from being mother and daughter to best buddies. Isabel was quite astonished that the two animals compromised their natural behaviors to suit the nature of the other as they played and interacted. Their story inspired the Springets so much that they published a book titled Kate and Pippin, an unlikely love story. 4. Cassie the Cheetah and Tani the Labrador so far, we've shared two stories of Labrador with you that have formed compassionate bonds with other animals. It's safe to say that this breed of dogs has the biggest heart. Here's another story of a Labrador, Tani, and his childhood friend, Cassie the Cheetah. Cassie the Cheetah and Tani the Labrador were brought together in April 2011, when they were both at most three months old and grew up in the cheetah habitat at Bush Gardens, Tampa, Florida. Since then, they've spent their days rollicking around without a care in the world. The pair have become stars as awesome pictures of their unusual but touching relationship revealed them to be inseparable friends. However, nature eventually took its course when Cassie was reintroduced back to his species. He began spending less time with his pal Tani. He showed more interest in a group of young female cheetahs who lived in a pen next to them, making his handler slowly introduce him to a female named Jenna as a potential mate because of her easygoing nature. 3. Anjana, the Chimpanzee and Tiger Cubs After two white tiger cubs were separated from their mother because their sanctuary was flooded, they found the unlikeliest of a surrogate mother in Chimpanzee, Anjana, who took up the role of caring for the cubs. The two-year-old chimp helped zookeeper China York care for the then 21-day-old cubs at the Institute of Greatly Endangered and Rare Species, Tigers, in South Carolina. The cubs were placed in animal caregiver China and her chimpanzee companion, Anjana, and became inseparable from their new motherly figures. Anjana is no novice when it comes to caring for young animals, as he had assisted China in caring and raising baby animals since she was very young. 2. Anthony the Lion and Riley the Coyote Anthony the Lion and his pal Riley the Coyote first met when they were one month old after rescuing and bringing to Keepers of the Wild a sanctuary for exotic animals in Arizona. Anthony was brought there as a sick cub after being auctioned off in Virginia, while Arizona and Fish rescued Riley. Lions and coyotes are social animals, thus, Anthony and Riley grew quite fond of each other almost immediately. They would play, groom each other, and stand watch over each other during nap time. Anthony was accompanied by Riley whenever he left the sanctuary for surgeries for a birth defect because the pair experienced such intense separation anxiety one wouldn't eat without the other present. Their love for each other was so strong it was captured in a PBS Nature episode called Animal Odd Couples. Sadly, Anthony passed away several years later, and Riley spent her days living with another coyote in the sanctuary, Dominic. It's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber wondering about this beautiful collage of a lion and an elephant and another lion with a deer. If you come across a mysterious photo online and want us to look into it, just send it over 
and we may even feature it in a future video. Now, we looked into this picture and this collage really looks adorable. We couldn't find the story behind the picture. However, there's one that is just as adorable and heart melting as the picture, which is one, Shere Khan, Baloo, and Leo. The story of Baloo the bear, Leo the lion, and Shere Khan is indeed a touching one. The trio was rescued together from a drug dealer who had abused them extensively. The animals were then moved to a nearby sanctuary called Noah's Ark Sanctuary in Locust Grove, Georgia, where they were treated. Baloo had surgery to remove a harness that had grown into his skin and caused deformities. Due to what the three friends had suffered, they became inseparable in the sanctuary after surviving traumatizing early years. Their bond earned them the acronym BLT, which was used to refer to the three animals. The three animals would eat, sleep, play together, and even seek out grooming and affection, licking each other and rubbing heads. After a few years, age-related health issues arose. The trio became a pair in 2016 when Leo passed away because of multiple tumors in his liver. Two years later, Shere Khan died in his main caregiver's arms, with Baloo looking on despairingly. Shere Khan was regarded as the fiercest of the bunch, and he loved to pounce and groom his friends playfully. The sanctuary then made it a top priority that the loss of Baloo's friend doesn't have a devastating effect on him also. They monitor him closely to avoid any adverse physical or emotional effect the loss of his last brother may have on him. And that's it for the 15 strongest friendships between wild animals. Which pair or trio would you consider the sweetest? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out others on the Forever Green channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.